Hey Virginians, this is Nathan Cox. I'm here at the uh, Chesterfield Fairgrounds for Liberty 101. Here is a guy that came to here, uh, his name is Ryan, and I'm going to ask him a few questions and uh, we'll show on the road. I was wondering, Ryan, uh, how do you feel about your representatives in Washington right now? Uh, garbage. We don't know where they are half the time. They're supporting all the bills that we're telling them not to support. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. Is there a main issue right now, whether it's foreign policy, health care, whether it's the Federal Reserve, or whatever it might be, that is, your, is, is a really primary concern to you? Uh, they're all they're all big with me. The health care bill needs to stop right now. Uh, being a veteran myself, the foreign policy thing is getting ridiculous. My brother's and sisters who are in the military are over there, you know, from one place to another not getting anything done. It's it's bad. We need to just hurry up, finish the war, you know, go over there, do what we're made to do, and, and get out. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, what kind of what, what kind of candidate would you support? Uh, to me, somebody who cares about our troops, cares about our police, somebody who is actually there for us, somebody who actually has values, you know, like the nine principles. Right. Somebody who's somebody who's real, not not the puppets that are up in Washington right now, who have all the little hands in their pockets, each pulling them a different way. That's a, a real person, a real candidate, a true conservative. Right. Right. <laughs> is there any particular organization, whether it's grassroots or Tea Party, that you're spe specifically involved with right now? Uh, not specifically. I'm bouncing all over the place, right. really. Uh, I'm a member of a bunch of the different. Uh, Second Amendment associations right. and all that, the NRA, the BCDL, I'm big on gun rights. Okay. All right, Ryan. Thanks a lot. Thanks, sir. Hello, fellow Virginians. My name is Nathan Cox. I'm here at Jim Trout's at Chesterfield County Fairgrounds for Liberty 101. And I'm here to ask uh, Jim a few questions. Uh, my first question, Jim, is what do you feel about uh, your representatives right now in D.C.? Well, here's what I think. I think if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always had. Right. And uh, I think a lot of people have taken our congressional representatives uh, for granted, and they take themselves for granted as well, too. Um, I think that uh, we've gotten in the mindset that, you know, sometimes people who might, can, might say that they're conservative really aren't, but there are people that are in office right now that really don't hurt people, so they're okay to vote for it. Uh, the reality is that's not always the case. You ask somebody if they're conservative, they'll say, oh, yeah, but then you you wonder why they spent $700 billion a year money. It doesn't right. make sense to me. So a little bird told me that you're going to be running for Congress next year. Yeah, I'm running against uh, Frank Wolf right now and whoever comes afterwards uh, uh, up in the 10th Congressional District up in Washington. So explain to me your platform you're going to be running on. Well, basically, the way we look at it, there's three, three tenets that we're looking at. Uh, we believe in fiscal responsibility, proactive, vice reactive leadership, and responsive, uh, responsive uh, representation. Right. In other words, we want to make sure that people say they're conservative, uh, are spending our money as conservatives, we're fiscally responsible. Uh, we honestly feel that the people that are running for office ought to be people that are proactive. They ought to be out here at these things. Whether right. they're making a speech or not really doesn't matter, right. but they're talking to their constituents. Right. Exactly. Right. You know? The other thing is, when you write them, when you talk to them, you expect them to come back to you. you know? We, the people, expect them to answer right. to us because they work for us, not the other way around. Right. So that's how we're, that's the tenets that we're running on. So a, a couple issues that are going on today, whether it's foreign policy or the economy or health care, what do you think is may, maybe your main concern? And as you, as a congressman, how do you think you can change or help help something? You know, I think it's easy to go ahead and vote on the floor of the House, you know, along party lines. But to really vote and understand what's going on, what the people think, you have to talk to the people. Not do that. You know, I right. talk to my neighbors, my friends, people out here. And everybody I've talked to says, we don't want the government involved in what right. we're doing anymore. Right. Exactly. We want them out of our lives. We want them to leave us alone because the Congress cannot tell me what's better for me than what I can. Right. So it's easy to go back in the House and say, OK, I voted the party platform. That's it. It's quite a different thing, though, to be able to go out, rally up the troops, and make some noise about it and help the people that you're supposedly leaving leading get through and do that right. thing. So that's my thought about you know health care and everything else. I think it's wrong. The people I talk to think it's wrong, but to simply say it's wrong is right. enough. You right. have to be involved in things like this to drive home the point right. with the people that you're that you're, uh, that you're leading. I, I agree. Well well folks, uh, he's got some conservative ideas. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you for it. Appreciate it. Nathan Cox and we're done.